Hello everyone, my name is Chan Melisundra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint something like a flower garden. So I'm going to put here a house and I think I'm going to put a, a forest background. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have subscribed it, and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications to my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. That's either the fly blue colors, the brushes that we need, and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I am going to start now. And I'm going to go the underpainting first. So I have here the uh, 1.5 inch flat brush. I feel the raw umber, the blue, yes, and then white. So I'll try to do a bit of underpainting. Umber. The blue and the raw umber. So this part will be the forest, everyone. So some rumber. There, so we have now the initial colors. We have here the yellow and some red. Okay, I'm gonna put more red. Yeah. Some room for everyone. So this is just an under underpainting. So the purpose is of the underpainting everyone is the I'm gonna cover everything that I uh, have color I uh, have white background so I will make everything to a little bit darker but not so dark but you can also put darker or much darker than this but yeah I choose this kind of color it's a little bit brown I should have uh, the color when I add greenish color to be like, uh, brighter something like that So I have here the yellow and the blue. So a bit of uh, greenish color. So we have now the background color. So I'm gonna put a light blue color here because this is a sky. So I have here the blue and the white. I 
I'm using the uh, medium size flat brush everyone a bit of orange in the bottom part now this part will be covered later on it so much good fun uh, I'll, I'll just let it uh, like that for now okay so I think this uh, part here a little bit of tried so I'm gonna start now sketching the the house so I'm gonna put the house here center part So it will be covered with the garden, everyone, with the plants. Okay. So this would be plants, everyone.
Oke. Okay. And then I will also put one bigger here, so it will be on the side, everyone. I'm gonna cover this part, and also here. Yeah, maybe I will just cover this part here with a bigger plant. flowering plant everyone and then also here I will cover this part yeah we here yeah there you go so we have a small part we here everyone and then yeah that's it so we have now the sketch okay so I will put the underpainting first I will put the I will make the background first here yeah maybe I will I will put the underpainting on the house because yeah because later on we can cover that and even here I will put the underpainting so maybe in the house we can put first the raw umber so that when we put uh, later on it will be dried the roux and the red and the roux umber so our light source will be coming from the left side okay and then I will also use this blue and the red a little bit of yellow or maybe a little bit of romber so this will be some plants here first with the dark color everyone and then also here Okay, so now I will now start adding some details on the background because I'm going to put some trees here also. But I'm going to lighten here everyone. I'm going to make it like there's something there. Something, something light from the forest. Or something like a misty forest. Uh, it should be like that. Yeah, maybe I will, I will put first some... Uh, I'll we'll just make this a better. So I have here the blue and the umber. I'm using white.
yellow yes Just tapping technique. There, okay. It's just so simple and then it's effective. This part will be uh, a little bit darker because this is nearer to us. So still tapping technique everyone. So we can see now uh, some things on the background. And then I'm going to put also some on the neighbor. Blue and the umber. technique everyone and then also here I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to put now some tree trunk on this forest. So I have here the raw umber, a little bit of white.
So we can also put some tree trunk on the background if you want, but uh, it will be a, bit, a little bit uh, brighter. So, uh, as you can see now, uh, there are a lot of uh, also trees on this forest, but I'll just leave like that if I didn't want to put uh, a lot of things there. I, w I just want to make it like it's so soft, not so much bright, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to put some greenish color also. So I have here the yellow and the blue a little bit of red and then yellow and then a little bit of white there Tapping technique, everyone. Even here, everyone, I'm going to put some also. There. So it looks good and soft. I'm gonna put uh, a bit uh, lighter. Also here. There, so I don't want to have a lot of things there, everyone. I just want to make it look so soft. There's no light there, but maybe later if I change my mic and put light. But I like the background there, it looks like uh, it's a bit misty. So I like, uh, like that. And yeah, we'll just uh, leave it like that everyone. It's not so much bright, okay? Okay, so here also on the background. I'm gonna put now adding some grasses. So the grasses, I like it to be much brownish. Oh no, I mean greenish. So red, blue, a little bit of red and the yellow. Just 
stopping technique everyone Try a bit lighter color. There. Okay. That's great. Okay, so I think I will just leave it like that for the background for now. So I'm gonna focus now on the on this house, everyone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see clearly on the part of the house. I like to make that look really really good. And I'm gonna add a good light on this house, everyone. So yeah. So I think I'm gonna put an orange roof there okay so I have here the medium size flat brush I have the yellow and the red then white Okay, so yeah, just uh, to like that for now, I'm gonna focus on the so I have here the red and the yellow, add a bit of rubber. Okay. And then I'm gonna try some purple, light purple, blue and the red and then white. Also here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the chimney here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some dark color, dark color now. Wait, I'm gonna put some more. I'm using the small flat brush, everyone. Number two, uh, size flat brush. And then I'm gonna mix for a dark purple, blue, and the red. I'm not using any black, so I'm using any dark purples. Okay, there you go. And I have here the rue umber and the red. I'm gonna blend a little bit of darks here. On the roof or on the side of this uh start coloring now this one that should be bright orange everyone so here I have red and then yellow Just let it dry. I will, I will do uh, these plants first. Okay, so here, this one will be a flowering, uh, flowering tree. Everyone, also this one here. I'm gonna put a lot of flowering uh, plants there. So yellow. And then blue. A bit of red, yeah. So here we can put.
there you go I also need to darken that part of the actually in the bottom part so I have heard the, the blue and the romper I have also the red So this one also. So I'll spread now. Uh, house room I'm, I'm gonna make the the, the wall uh, white something like that so I'm gonna use this uh, big brush again this a medium size flat brush so I'm gonna or maybe something like uh, a blue color so blue a little bit of red and then white I'll try to put uh, some windows. It will be in the lighter color one. Yeah, we'll use this small brush. This a uh, um, zero liner brush.
Okay. And then I'm gonna use this uh, raw umber and the red. So I'm gonna put some lines here, everyone, uh, for the roof. So I'm gonna put a bit more details now. So as you can see everyone, I am adding the details. I'm going to put a bit of uh, casted shadow so here because my light is coming from the left side Now I'm going to add some lights there. First I'm going to use this white.
there's a little bit of one but uh, tinier details here okay so you can see now there's light on the roof and it looks good I like it it just it looks simple run but it looks good okay this umber here the dark color here and also I'm adding some room umber even here also put some details on the window there so yeah as you can see now it's a complete house and yeah maybe I will just do like that okay so I'm gonna proceed now on the plants surrounding this uh, house here okay so maybe I'm gonna also want to put also some plants here but that later on Yeah, maybe in the back part. So, blue umber and the blue, yellow and the red. Blue and the blue umber. I'll try to put some plants here in the back of this house. So as you can see now, it's much, uh, the house now is much uh, visible or contrast, contrasting, something like that. Okay, now let's start adding some, some uh, more highlights on the plants uh, beside the house. So first, I will try to mix for darker green, blue, yellow, and dark umber.
and then this one also this time a little bit uh, lighter everyone there and then I will try to mix a lighter yeah maybe I'll just use this brush everyone this uh, small size flat brush I have here the yellow and the blue to make some green and then white it's a light green everyone try to use a bit of yellow Just stopping to thank everyone. So this uh, part was hit, is hit by a, a very bright light. Yeah, it can be much more yellowish. Yellow and a bit of orange. And then I will try whites. Okay, there you go. So 
as we observe now it's been hit by a great light beautiful light there okay so slowly we can see those lights are popping out so also we use blue and the yellow and then white So I am using a small brush everyone. I just use the tapping technique. So I'm going to try to put a little bit darker in. And then let's also put here. I want to hit, I want this part to be hit by a good light. So we add some color we can use. It's a light yellow green. So just tapping technique everyone. And then I also put some a little bit darker greens. So I'm just using now the small brush everyone. This uh, number two nylon flat brush.
It's a small brush, but uh, it can create uh, beautiful textures. And the texture looks good. It looks uh, realistic for me. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna put a lot of flowers on these uh, trees, everyone. So I'm, I'm, I like to, I like to make it look like it's glowing, something like that. Okay. So oh wait, I'm gonna add also here. I will put some light a yellow green there and even here And then let's put some flowers. I will put also these red flowers. some white to make it light green I don't know uh, pink And this one, I'll try to make um, white, blue, and uh, red, plus purple, and white. And the other one will be yellow. So yellow, a little bit of red to make some orange. And then let's put some pure yellow.
Okay, so it's uh, colorful now. Yeah. And this big uh, tree ruin, I'm gonna make that purple, but I'm gonna put it later on, okay? So maybe I'm gonna try to proceed on the bottom part. I am going to proceed on the on the ground. So I'm gonna make this a grassy crown everyone. So I'll be using the bristle flat brush. I think we're having more yellow. So here, yellow, and the red, and then blue, and more yellow. So here will be the light. So just stopping technique everyone like that. So the light source coming from the left side. Blue and the yellow, I'm gonna put it here. The yellow and the red. greens and then red
here I'm gonna make it uh, darker because this is a casted shadow that part and even here everyone And then I'm gonna put a pathway here, everyone, made of rocks. So I'll just use the white, the blue, and the red. Give it a little bit of umber. I'm going to put some room there also. I'll put first the rumber. Wait. I need to put some yellow because I have no yellow. I think we need more yellow. I'm gonna lighten first the grass before I'm gonna put those rocks. So I have here the yellow and then white. So this is a grassy field everyone, or uh, some grasses, a lot of grasses in this field. So we're just tapping technique like that. To make all, because this is a ground. So I need to make the grass uh, leveled. So I put much yellowish.
air okay so as you can see now it's uh brighten and it looks at the crown looks really really nice okay i like it everyone it's just too simple and looks good okay so i'm gonna put now some pathway so this big brush everyone I know this is small, this small flat brush. I mean, I'm gonna use so make sure that it's dry. I'm gonna use this raw umber. So these are rocks everyone. So the perspective is from smaller to bigger here. this uh, purple with a bit of umber I'm gonna lighten this color with the umber This Romber one, Romber, yellow, and the red, and then white, yellow, there. Sorry about the noise. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the noise, but it's the noise. Okay, so that's part. That part will be lighter. I'm gonna put some white and then yellow. also some some rocks in the sorry everyone some rocks on the ground okay sorry everyone about the noise sorry about the noise I should finish this faster now because <laughs> I think they are now starting to turn the radio okay so we have now like a a pathway uh, made of rocks okay so yeah I'm almost done everyone I will try to put uh, some 
details on the on the plants here so here so okay so I have the blue and the yellow then red So I think we'll make a darker green first. Blue, amber, and the blue, and then red. More, more rubber. Yeah. this dark color tree there and then this one also Okay, so I have to finish this one and one. I heard some music in the background, so I have to finish it. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix for yellow and the blue. Okay, and then white. Okay, okay, so. I'm gonna try to put some grasses up, uh, I mean tree leaves here, okay? There. Sorry everyone, I know I don't know if you can hear the the music in my background. But it's not really good for me. There. Okay, so yeah, and then this one also. I'm gonna make it look like a big trees, a big, uh, big uh, leaves, everyone. So I'm gonna do it one by one. Okay, and then this one also. Okay, so okay, so hopefully you cannot hear that much the sounds of the black background. Okay, and also here. So this one will be near to us everyone because this is uh, the leaves are bigger. Yeah, I want also to make the leaves uh, bigger so that we can see clearly. And even this one here. Okay. see now that the plants there it's a uh, bigger and you can see it clearly okay so this one everyone I'm gonna make it like a little bit purple uh, flowers so this three here so I have here the blue and the red and the blue and then white 
and then I have here the red, white, okay. So I'm gonna put now here. So I'm gonna make the plant uh, flowers like this. Uh, it's a, like a weeping willow. There. And also here. Okay. And then I'm going to try to add a bit of lights, red and white. There, so you can see now there are flowers of some that purple flowers, and then uh, I'm gonna need also to put uh, a bit of flowers on the near plants, but I will make it red, yeah, just like a big red flowers. So, here. There, and then I'm gonna have it have a bit of lights. There, just a light purple, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna let you see everything. Yeah, let's zoom out, and then I'll just do a little bit of retouch, and I think I will be finished. And I want to. I will just try to touch everyone a little bit and uh, I am done. Okay, so I will just try to make everything look good. Row umber and the white. Okay, so here I'm gonna lighten this part here. Some rocks here. We're gonna lighten some rocks. There. And I'm gonna use white. Okay, so here and there and then a little bit more on the on the plant everyone I'm gonna put a little bit bluish so here
Okay, okay I'm gonna try to put some some tree trunk row umber and white so maybe here I will try to put some tree trunk also okay so sorry about the noises everyone there and then also here So I'm gonna try to put Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna put more Okay, so that's it everyone. I am done and I think uh, I'm very, very excited And I'm very very pleased with my result today. It looks good it looks uh, realistic. I like the lights. I like the composition, I like the tree. So everything here, uh, I like. Uh, I like how it uh, my final result. So I hope you are also learning. Uh, you can you can follow this. You can paint and uh, you can learn more. Okay, everyone. So I want to say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.